Hi creative friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ella. So today is our watercolor tutorial food illustration episode number seven. Let's paint those two beautiful cherry together. Those are the materials I'm using in this tutorial. Please check out my description box. Everything will be listed there. So before we jump into the painting part, let's study our picture a little bit. Um, if you are not interested in this part, uh, please check out my time code in the description box. You can jump into the steps you are interested. So um, today I'm using two pictures I downloaded from uh, Unsplash. Unsplash is a website we can use pictures freely without copyright issue. And um, so the picture I'm using here is um, this one. I will use part of the, the leaf, this piece and this piece. But for this picture, um, I'm using this picture as main composition. So when we study the picture, uh, the first thing we will need to do is find the three tone section. Lightest tone, medium tone, and darkest tone. I already sketched the outline of the cherry and let's take a look together. Open layers. So on the lightest tone, it's very obviously, um, it's here. This is the lightest tone, lightest tone, lightest tone, and lightest tone here. Um, as you can see, because the cherry shadow, one part is here, another part is here, the shadow is a little bit overlapped. So you can see the light is coming from both sides and from front. Um, which is a little bit different from what we painted before. Um, there is only one light source, but this time we have two, which is fine. So we will um, take a little bit deeper. For example, let's use the left one as example. Um, so section one is here, number one. And then if we separate them, basically number two, is here. It's a little bit darker, a little bit uh, pinkish, but not as sharp as the number three part, which is here. So number three part is all those part, except the highlight part. Um, but I would like to emphasize this middle because it's a dented area. The picture, the color here has more variation. Um, the area close the area close to the stem is more lighter than this section three darkest color and the color on the back is a little bit darker so when we paint this part um, in order to show the three dimensional uh, just be careful and the stem looks like this part is a little bit lighter and it's getting darker and the left side is a little bit darker than the right side. Okay, so let's get started. Our first step is to apply on first wash. Uh, I'm mixing permanent rose with lots of water to apply on my first wash. Now we're moving on to medium tone. So when we wait until the second layer is dry or use a heat gun to dry the paper, we can start to apply the third um, section. Um, the third section, I'm calling it dark tone, or we can say um, the most saturated color section. Um, 
I'm using less water and more color on this part. After I finish the three layers, I decide um, to apply the whole process one more time because I do feel the color I'm using is a little bit lighter when the color dry up. Uh, it's very normal for watercolor, the color is always a little bit lighter when it gets dry. Um, so I'm keeping adding layers and the details on the same time. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!